All right, what is up guys? So in this video, I'm going to go over six app ideas that are already making over 5,000 per month. So this is for iOS and Android apps. And in the video, I'm going to go over a free method to find these apps. I'm gonna teach you how you can do this yourself. Then towards the end of the video, I'm going to go over a proven way on how you can clone and then improve on these apps so you can make these apps yourself. How do you actually find apps that are validated and are you making money? So the method is you go to acquire.com. So this is a free site. You don't need to pay anything. And basically you create an account and then you go over to the marketplace. After you go on the marketplace, you can click on types and you can just filter based on mobile apps. So this is a marketplace of people that have apps that are making money and they're trying to sell them. You can see all of the apps that are being listed for acquisitions right now this one's under offer and there's a bunch of other ones you can click in and you can see how much they're offering plus the um, 12 month profit and the revenue and a lot of interesting stuff like their tech stack their competitors and growth opportunities and whatnot this is really good information especially if you're trying to develop an ios app and you're not sure what idea to build and you want to make sure that you're building stuff that people will actually buy so let's go over six ideas already so in exploring insights what we have is this database of acquire.com data so one of the problems with acquire.com especially if you browser frequently you'll know that a lot of the listings will go down after someone buys the startup in exploring insights we scrape all of the data and we have it scraped so that you can still reference it after the uh, listing goes down so that's one issue with just um, viewing it yourself is that this page might not be here in a month or two or even a week because someone might have bought it and then after they buy it the listing goes down so in exploring insights we have all data and you can sort it based on mobile apps or SaaS apps or whatever for this video let's click on mobile startups and here are all the startups you can see that last month this startup has made over ten thousand dollars and they're asking for over almost 300k this is a anti-stalking android app for personal safety alerts users to nearby tracking devices you can click on source this will open up the acquire.com listing plus if you want more info we have all that saved here so that even if the listing goes down all that is per persistent so this is a anti-stalking android app if you see this and you want to create a clone or create an alternative one quick option is you can just give it to ai to tell it oh uh, here is the app idea generate me some more app ideas but for the purposes of this video let's move on to other examples so this one here is a anti-stalking android app typically if you have the air tag you want to make sure that other people can't see that air tag as well so this app helps with that the next one is app for virtual girlfriend simulator that creates realistic and interactive experience for users this app made over fifteen thousand dollars last month so it's quite profitable just off the top of my head i think you can go like really niche into this so there's communities of like anime of certain niches within ai girlfriends this is already validated so if you want to make something similar what i would do is create different really niche down versions create a ai anime girlfriend even though this is just for a really broad ai girlfriend the anime niche is a lot bigger right so you can create apps just for smaller niches so the next one is an app that allows ios and android users to record phone calls with just a few taps let's see the um, listing itself plus uh, all the additional info they made over three hundred thousand dollars in the last whole month which is pretty impressive for this app and you can see that here is the business model so they have different ways that you can improve the product this is just a lot of information that you can use especially if you want to clone it and then improve it so one of the new things is add new product features improve the digital marketing these are just some suggestions and you can give all of this to ai and just tell it to come up with ways to improve this app right so this is already validated so you can use this idea let's go on to the next one this one here has made seven thousand dollars in the last uh, month and it's ai power tool for lyric generation songwriting and singing vocal synthesis so this is in the ai music space let's look at the listing and see if we can get more information this is targeted towards songwriters and it helps them come up with lyrics and 
just helps their creativity. Instead of just, of just targeting songwriters, you can talk, target like podcast creators or pretty much anyone that needs creativity. Just app that helps them get over that writer's block. So that's the idea. Let's move on to the next one. This one is mobile app that boosts users Valorant play. So Valorant is a game on the desktop. So it's like a shooting game. This person made over $6,000. So obviously one really easy way to create apps of this is instead of just doing Valorant, you can do other popular games. So another pop game, popular game is like League of Legends. You can do that or TFT or basically any game that's popular, you want to create apps that solve the same problem. This app is solving the problem of that people are bad at, at this game and they want to improve and they want it on their app. So you would just create apps that help people get better. If you bold it down, basically the step is to find the problem and then to bring it to other niches. So this niche is just for Valorant, but you can easily bring this to other games, other categories and other niches. So that's the idea. Let's keep going. This one has made over $8,000. This is a favorite post saver. If you go to a listing, you will see more information. And what we can also do is like Google searches. Let's search on Google. If there's any apps that do this already, like Instagram story saver, let's check the listing and see if we get more information. It looks like they uh, save posts. This is maybe useful if you have a social media account that you want to create like a mood board out of. Let's see if they have more information down here. Also, if you look at their competitors, you can see examples of what this app might be. Video Light. So this app that allows you to stream videos. Let's look at other ones, uh, documents, offline. Okay, so it doesn't give much information, but you can see down here, it allows you to save videos, photos, GIFs, and put it all in the app, right? So that's the app idea. Obviously for this one, you can also niche down and think of other ways to bring this to other problems. So instead of, of just saving videos, you, you can maybe save ads, you can save thumbnails, you can save pretty much anything that people need to create. This app would help them save it and come up with inspiration later. So that's the idea. Let's do one more. 3,000, 3,000, try to see one that's made over $5,000. So this one here has made over $5,000. So this is a mobile app that lets users scan and organize various QR codes. And let's open up the listing and see what uh, problem it is solving. In the, the description, they have over oh, almost 200,000 downloads and have made almost like over a million dollars of revenue. So that's pretty impressive. And they don't run ads anymore. So let's look up the competitor and see what they do. This is a QR code reader. We can scan food QRs or any phone QRs. A lot of it is probably very niche because it supports a lot of these other QRs, so QR codes. I'm not sure if you could actually clone this one, but this just shows you the um, niche and there's a bunch of other apps down here that pretty much do the same thing. So this is a pretty basic app that has one functionality, but it's made over a million dollars. So is pretty inspiring to see. So yeah, uh, those are the five or six ideas. And let me see the last tip that we're, we're gonna go over, which is how do you clone these apps? So the easiest way to clone these apps is you can create it in React Native. The development part, you would just do in React Native because React Native is for iOS and um, Android. But if you wanted to think of how to come up with ways to improve the app, just go into the reviews. If you go into reviews, you'll see that all these guys have left two stars, three stars, right? And these are all opportunities to improve on your app. So if you were to create a QR code reader, you can like open this and you can see that the moment I started this app, it asked for auth even for a free trial. Once I did it, boom, I instantly subscribe. So this person is unhappy that they got tricked into buying the products. You, you can make sure that you don't do, have that in your app. So it looks like a lot of them are complaining that they got scammed, but Let's see if there's actually product development suggestions. So this one, it has a pretty high star rating. So let's see. So th this is something they like. It scans any barcode. So that's one of the selling points. Let's see if we can find one with one star. I think on the iOS, if you have an iPhone, uh, you can see all the star ratings. On the desktop, uh, you can't. But yeah, if you guys want to do the strategy, basically you would just read the one stars and two stars and see what people are, are complaining about and then convert those into features and make sure that those are fixed in your app if you want to clone this product. So yeah, these are the three tips. I'm going to make up a follow-up video of finding more of these app ideas in the next video of the series. So subscribe and talk to you guys later.